Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do our final push into Matrix 9 and eradicate the Xenon and have some good news for y'all. Um, the Terran have decided that they would come and help us out uh, with this, this little task. Uh, so they have an Asgard, and it looks like three Osakas, and then uh, is that a Falx? So it looks like they have a couple frigates and a few fighters. It's not a very, I mean, overall, not a very big force. Um, but hey, every little bit helps. So, yeah, I, I just noticed that. I've been actually camped out. I have a blockade at this gate on the other side here in Matrix 451. Uh, and I've been working on finishing out my building supplies depot, uh, which I have completed uh, the configuration of it. So I've added all the modules, but there are 195 <laughs> distinct uh, things that have to be built uh, on this station. And so what I did was I uh, I added all of the end product modules that I wanted, and then I went back using the online station calculator and added all of the intermediate modules that it said I'm going to need to support those. And then I added a whole bunch of large habitats here at the front. Um, so this is going to take a while. Uh, it is indeed going to take a while uh, for all this to get built. And then once it's all completely built, um, you know, then I will go through and make all the, you know, the necessary adjustments for the inputs and that sort of thing. But I'm not really too terribly worried about that until it's complete uh, in, in full swing. So I, you know, kind of know what I'm having to work, uh, what I have to work with. Um, so, so this is, this is currently telling me I only need an opti optimal number of workers of 24,000, but the calculator was saying that we needed like 34,000. And that's probably just because this is probably the way it is right now. And it's not reflecting, you know, everything once it's built, I'm guessing, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see what that's going to say. Um, you know, once, once everything's built and the, um, the habitats were the last thing on the list. So that way, if everything else gets built and starts running and it doesn't tell me I need that many, I'll, I'll remove some of those habitats. So I'll just kind of keep an eye on that as things go along. Um, okay. So anyway, if you guys, uh, haven't been watching before and you don't know what this place is, this is basically my building supplies depot. It's sole purpose is to produce whole parts, claytronics, um, advanced electronics, drone parts, turret parts, shield parts or components, field coils, and smart chips. And because I need all of that stuff. Well, you can, I guess we, we can just look here. <laughs> um, all of that stuff in order to build our defense towers. Uh, well, and, and build, you know, any pretty much just about anything else we're going to build. Uh, so this is going to supply us. This is basically Home Depot <laughs> for X4. It's going to supply us all of our building materials. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited about that. But anyway, let's get back to the business at hand here. So I'm ready to push into Matrix 9. And I was uh, just kind of looking at a few things before we got started here. And I noticed the Terrans had popped up um, in here. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they do. I, I mean, the Asgard's a pretty powerful ship. Uh, it's an extremely powerful ship, but, you know, it also needs support. And they have a very, very small fighter force. Um, so, uh, and really, you know, they don't have very many destroyers either. Doesn't the AI use the Sin or do they just use the Osaka's? I've never seen them use the Sin, but that doesn't mean they don't. I just haven't never seen them. Excuse me, do that. So, we currently have a K... We have two K's in the system. I have not seen any more eyes pop out of the shipyard. Um, so what I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll do, since the Terran are helping, is we might make a beeline for their wharf and start pounding on their wharf um, and see how things go. Or I guess the other thing we could do is we could just watch them for a while and see what they do. I, I don't really want to join them because what what will happen what could happen is we could accidentally tag them in the crossfire and then you know they'll they will turn hostile 
Honest, I, I wish there was a way in this game where you could turn friendly fire off. Um, you know, and it, it, if, for example, let's say I wanted to start a war with, you know, with the Terrans or with anybody, um, you know, I could go here and select the, no, yeah, we lost another fighter. Um, I could go here and select them and then declare war and then, you know, then that fixes it. But if, you know, I wish that the way that it would work is if you were plus 10 or higher, then, then there was no friendly fire. Because that way then you could actually join them and fight together. But the problem is if I bring my fleet next to theirs and, it, and, the, and the fire fight starts, you know, we have a high probability that we'll hit some of their ships and then they'll get pissed at us. So, um, yeah, we can't, so we can't really safely fight alongside them. Um, I think what we're going to do, though, is let's just watch for a little bit and see what they do before we go in ourselves. So we're going to unpause the game, mostly because I'm just kind of curious to see to see what they're going to do. Those guys are kind of in bad shape. I wonder why. They must have gotten into a, a fight. Yeah, they did get into a fight. I didn't even notice they were in there because I was busy, you know, working on my building de build depot. And then I, like I said, I was getting ready to to come to start the onslaught here. And then I noticed they were already in the system. Um, Eonimus Zura is completely cleared of all Xenon. Well, most all Xenon. And the Talati are indeed in the process of building a defense platform. And when that's complete, then this will become their system as long as there nobody else opposes them. So that's going good. Um, there, uh, ooh, that's another K there. Um, the Xenon have not tried to put up any more, uh, any new stations in this area, which is good. Uh, like I said, I think they're hurting for resources. Uh, we did have, they did try and put up another tower. It's, it's kind of funny. They, it's almost like they troll me. They put a defense tower right next to my defense tower but just out of range so i can't shoot at it um so i sent my corvette squadron in to uh deal with that and it looks like they have done so this is the other spot that they're always trying to set something up but it looks like they're behaving up in xyroth space so yeah let's uh let's just kind of see what happens here i could i could live stream view um, but I believe if you live stream though, then it becomes in sector because I don't see how it couldn't be because now the game's got to, uh, what did he have another ship right over the top of him? I think it was just the camera. Yeah, he does. He's got an Osaka. Um, because, you know, then the game's got to, you know, do the animations and render it as if you were there because you're actually watching it. So I'm pretty sure live stream view counts as in sector. But we'll watch this for a little bit. I'm not going to watch it for a really long time. But I'm just kind of curious to see. Why is it, though, when we... Oh, it's probably because the Osaka is way actually in front of... Yeah, he's it's in front of him. I was going to say... How come I can't see it on top at these other angles? But it's because Osaka's quite a ways out in front. Just couldn't tell from the camera angle. Okay, well, let's... Let's go back to the map so we can kind of see what's happening. I don't think the AI would be dumb enough to use the XL gun on this for fighters. Who knows, though? Uh, we do need to keep an eye on our own situation, too, just making sure, you know, we got this K coming through. Oh, where, where did he go? I don't know. He could sneak up. Oh, there he is. He is going to try and sneak up on us, maybe. Yeah, so we got to watch. We got to watch that for sure. Uh, but this is cool, though. I, I like it when my AI actually helps me in the fight against the Xenon because they don't, they don't usually... The Terran are definitely the best of all the races for that. Paranoid are pretty good, though, too, actually, at holding them at bay. All 
I wonder, it looks like they might be making a beeline for this defense platform, which is an unusual first target. But, you know, it's the AI, so they may not know how to prior the code, I should say, may not know how to prioritize stations. I did find that interesting, though, that it's this K has been guarding this solar power plant because that's the last one they have. I don't know if that's coincidence or if the code's doing that deliberately. Got a Kukri fighter. You better uh, get the lead out or you might be in trouble. I can't tell, you know, what where its shields are. You know, I was thinking about something the other day. It would be really cool, and I know this would be a hell of a lot for the game to process. Um, but it would be really cool if you could actually see progressive ship damage, you know, as a ship gets more damaged. But this game is very CPU intensive. Um, and it's reasonably graphics intensive too, so that, that'd be that'd be asking a lot, I suppose. It'd still be kind of cool though. Nasty Xenon. was targeting a P. I wonder if the P got killed. No, no, he still is. Okay, you got him. Nice work. Kukri pilot. Okay, let's, um... I'd like to see the Asgard take on a K or at least if it if they are in fact going for this defense platform I'll watch it try and shoot the beam at that let's do some seta here so he's looking is he going to do a guard position? He keeps changing his... Yeah, protect p position. S uh, so I wonder if, he, if they're going to protect this area by the gate. No, they're advancing. Okay, here. Let's, um, let's see if he'll shoot a beam at the station. He doesn't appear to be protecting position unless he's protecting it near the station. Because he set that command and then he took off, so. Oh, it's a she. Well, pardon me, ma'am. Okay. Um. Go back into the map. Oh. We got a K. Okay, let's target the K, and I also... Big mistake. Very big mistake. Trying to see if my captain's going to do something smart. I don't think so. She should be, like, bearing down on that thing right now. Get out of here. F off. Okay, stop. I want my fighters to pull away. Ah, uh, they're all over the place, so I think we're just going to tell them to you know, 
fleet come in. And they dropped a whole bunch of laser towers too, which is actually super useful. Explode the waiting orders. Nice. Okay, so I don't think we lost any fighters. Nope, we still have orders. 31 there. See, that's a nice thing about putting laser towers in your uh, in your fighters because then if you give them the fleet command, they orders. just poop them out and lay down a whole bunch of laser towers. It's really nice. Um, okay, so you know I forgot about something. I usually carry a complement of 40, 40 fighters with me, and I'm down to thirty-one because we we lost nine Waiting over the last orders. few battles. So, because the Terran are already in there mixing it up with them, I might wait and just kind of watch them for a while. I'm not going to, you know, uh, do all of that on camera, of course. Um, while we wait for uh, another batch of of she's. Uh, so, I, what I could do... Well, here, let's get... Um, Let's just do tin, another batch of tin. I, I'm going to be manufacturing these myself, you know, once we eventually get our shipyard going, but that's going to be quite an undertaking. Um, I've been, and I've been outfitting these guys with uh, two bolt repeaters and two uh, of the beam weapons. I can't remember what they're called now. <laughs> From the Paranid. That's what this loadout has. Uh, so only weapons two and three have bolt repeaters, and then these are blank because then I send them down to the paranet to get those. Um, what I think I'm ultimately going to do, though, is have a special wing of fighters. Oh, nice. Looks like they can make them without needing any material. Perfect. Uh, a special wing of fighters that will keep inside the carrier that will be completely outfitted with the oh man why the hell can't i think remember what those are called here look on one of these sheets burst rates burst rates so you know have like i don't know maybe a wing of 20 fighters that are that just have burst rates and all we do it with them is we send them to take the engines out on the enemy capital ships and then bring them back and put them back in the carrier and then have a separate wing or three of fighters, you know, that have normal weapons. That's kind of what I'm thinking, uh, you know, when the time comes. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to wait for those she's to cook up and then get them out to me. And once they get back, then we will uh, start our push into Matrix Night. In the meanwhile, I'm going to just kind of keep an eye on what the Terrans are doing. And if anything fantabulous happens, I'll, uh, I'll show that to you uh, later on. Okay, so... I'll see you in a bit. Malfunctioning circuit board. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. And there she goes. What a crying shame, man. Hey, it switched over to, our, to Trader 4 in our Vulture. Okay, well, it's uh, it's the usual story. If we want to get a job done, we're going to have to do it ourselves. And that is what's going to happen now. So, uh, well, actually, hold on. Let me, do, 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 do. Let me see where my, my new she's are at. They should be done, but I still have to send them down to Parent in Space to get fitted with the with the blast mortars. I mean, not the blast mortars, the ray thingies. Yeah, so let's... Excuse me. Let's grab them and send them down to Trinity Sanctum. Burst ray. And it looks like they have all of the stuff to make them right now. That's fan. Oh, wait, no. 
Yeah, they do. Ten she's. Beautiful. No, they don't. We need 65 advanced electronics and 27 weapon components. Okay. All right, well, I'll uh, get that stuff gathered up for them, get them over here, and then when we're ready to launch into Matrix 9, I'll bring you guys back at that point. Okay, guys, we are ready to begin our push into Matrix 9 here. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually send the Osakas through and just have them sit right on the other side of the gate. Um, and then everybody is on Mimic. So I'm going to give, as soon as the Osakas get through the gate, there's one. Just depends on how close to the gate they are. Keep an eye and see what's going on here. Okay, he's got some fighters coming after him. So here's what we're going to do then. Um, I'm going to have to hop out of the pilot's seat so I can give the rattlesnake a command and I'm going to set up a protect position for the rattlesnake and then everybody else will come through on mimic want to discard the plan changes no I always do that. You gotta click this button first, then click on the area. Uh, let's make this a 15 kilometer area and put it right about there. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's go through. And everybody else should go through too. Oh, we also want to bring the orca through as well. I don't know where the other Osakas uh, or what the hell they're doing. They're just taking their own sweet time as usual. Let's have the Orca stage right there. And, uh... Oh, you know what? Uh, we don't need... We actually don't need these guys on Fly 2 now. Because they'll just automatically... Go protect the position. Xenon spot. Awaiting orders. So the plan is to set up on the other side of the gate and then just kind of hunker down. Awaiting orders. And let them come to us so we can start kind of thinning them out. It's like they had a few fighters come. Come through the gate. System. Matrix number. Right, as we were going through. Okay, I'm going to get up above a little bit. I like to try Waiting and orders. fight this, the case from high up. They can still, depending upon the position, they can still Waiting shoot orders. at you, but the worst place to be is underneath the K. No bueno. Awaiting orders. So we'll come up here by the orca. Awaiting orders. Okay, so we got some fighters coming in. Process this. Awaiting orders. Orders. All right, let's take a look and see what's... Did everybody get through? Awaiting orders. Still have one Osaka and one fighter that's dealing with these guys. I'm 
not worried about the Osaka, but I want the fighter to get through. Okay. Awaiting Good. orders. Oops. Awaiting orders. He's just about ready to come through the gate. Xenon spotted. Okay, so now we were hit. Um like I said, the plan is just to kind of hang out in this area and let them Awaiting orders. come to us. Oh, we got a K coming. Okay. Um, Awaiting earlier, orders. we had a K flying around back here, and I wonder if he's going to try and... Oh, there he is right there. Okay, we're going to have to really keep an eye on him. I have a feeling like he might try and sneak up behind us. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually point the Osakas in this direction. Okay. And we're going to target him. Hopefully these guys stay put up here while we're de dealing with the K. All right, so these guys are in position. And I'm going to wipe you out. What's uh what's my radius on that? Let's see rattlesnake. Oh, I can't see it when I'm in the pilot seat. Well, I don't think I can. Yeah, it's not showing it. Okay, well let's just give the Osaka is the attack command. I'll make sure you regret that. You're wrecking my shield. I must have been below the gate, not above it. I think me and the Osakas can handle this guy. We don't need the fighters involved. Awaiting orders. We always risk losing him just from the explosion alone if they're too close. Awaiting orders. Osaka near him may have taken some damage. Uh, nothing too major. I don't know. I think it was this one. Yeah, they lost a couple beam turrets, but that's okay. They're repair drones. We'll fix them back up. Okay, that went well. Um, where is... Where's this other guy? He, he was right here before. I'll bet you anything he's going to try and sneak up behind us. We've really got to keep an eye on that. He's probably in the fog of war right now, so I can't see where he is. Like, he might be right here. Okay, so, yeah, let's, um... Awaiting orders. Uh, reposition here. There's another K... 
I think there's another K in this system. Awaiting orders. Yeah, there's one up here by the solar power plant. Zenon spotted. Awaiting orders. That's just a little guy there. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'll bet you anything this guy's going to come through the back door. So we got to be ready for him. That was a bad move. So we just got to keep an eye on this one and the one that's coming. Awaiting orders. And the fighters will take care of any little ships that come towards us. I'm not worried about them so much. Yeah, let's, um, let's get a little bit of altitude, even though I know there's no such thing in space, but there's an ecliptical plane in this game, so if you're relative to that, then yes, there is altitude. You used to be able to see the ecliptical plane. There, there's a way you could turn it on in X3 and X2. <laughs> But I don't know if that's doable uh, in X4, at least not without potentially mods or admin commands or something. Console commands. Okay, there he is. Man, he came through fast. Okay, so, um, I think I want everybody to burn this guy down, but I'll pull the fighters back before, yeah, crap, those guys, oh, no, they're not coming, we're good. Got a couple fighters around, but not too worried about it. So I'm going to have everybody burn him down, but I'll pull the fighters back before the hull explodes. Let's do this. It's really far away from us. You never really know exactly where they're going to come through. Actually, the fighters aren't even around him. Yeah, we're fine. And there he goes. Man, he got here fast. I can't believe how fast he got here. Okay, let's take a look. Assess the situation here. I think we're pretty good. Just got some little guys coming through. So he's the last known K. And once he's dealt with, then it should ease up on us a little bit. At least that's the theory. actually probably a good thing that those Osakas were in that fight because they would have lost their repair drones. Or at least the, the one that's using the repair drones at the moment.
Okay, let's um awaiting orders. Look and see what's going on here. This guy needs a little bit of help. So they should just automatically come back over here, but let's... do that. Awaiting orders! Okay, so Rattlesnake's still on protect position. I wish it would show me the radius. When, even when I'm in the pilot seat. Uh, but everybody's in good shape. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is... Uh, we're going to wrap up this episode. And I'm just going to keep going here. Awaiting and orders. I'll start the next episode either when... If something really crazy happens or... When we start attacking uh, the wharf. Awaiting orders. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Awaiting order.